dear fourth sem mechanical engineering students welcome back into my channel again after a long long time your examinations are very near now so it is the correct time to give you the passing packages for the subjects i have taken here uh, first subject that is bme 401 that is applied thermodynamics this is the subject where most of the students are struggling still from previous schemes so you should not repeat the same mistake whatever the questions i will discuss here go through those theoretical questions so that you can pass the applied thermodynamics dynamics with is worthy okay so first of all let me discuss here module first in which you have to cover questions like derive an expression of air standard efficiency of a diesel cycle with neat pv and ts diagrams and also expression of air standard efficiency of an auto cycle and dual cycle with pv and ts diagram these three questions are super important questions any question which you may ask in the examination so you have to be fully prepared for these uh, next is a compare auto diesel and dual cycle based on same uh, compression ratio and heat rejection same maximum pressure and temperature right next with the p theta diagram explain the stages of combustion in ci engine explain the phenomena of combustion in si engines and explain any two methods of deeming frictional power these are the six questions which you have to cover from the uh, first module if you are convenient with the numerical part if you have studied well in your college so surely go for the numericals also if you want to score if you want to pass only then there is the possibility of passing this subject by theoretical portion but sometimes as you already know we do setting unexpected papers sometimes for these type of subjects as you have you might have seen last time in the basic thermodynamics they asked you a lot of numericals in that particular subject so you should be uh, aware of the numericals also next is uh, module second in which super important question is derive an expression for the optimum pressure ratio for maximum work output in case of brayton cycle next is with a neat sketch explain working of turbojet or ramjet with a neat sketch explain gas turbine cycle with the regenerator and derive the cycle efficiency with a neat sketch explain working of gas turbine cycle with intercooling and reheating with ts diagram these are the three super important questions next is with a block diagram and ts diagram explain how regeneration increases thermal efficiency of gas turbine plant so again go for numericals uh, by using a data handbook uh, you can go through the numerical part if you f uh, if you feel comfortness in the numericals next is module third discuss the effect this is the super important one discuss the effect uh, boiler pressure condenser pressure superheat on the performance of a rain kind cycle next is sketch and explain the flow diagram and corresponding ts diagram of a practical regenerative run kind cycle with the help of systematic diagram and hs diagram explain regenerative vapor power cycle with one feed water heater derive an expression for its thermal efficiency these are the three questions and next two questions from this module third why is carnot cycle not a realistic model for steam power plants explain with appropriate ts diagram and compare and contrast carnot and rankine cycle okay this is all about theoretical portion from the module third next is module four define the following dry bulb temperature wet bulb temperature relative humidity dew point temperature and degree of saturation with a neat sketch describe the working of a bell coleman cycle with pv and ts diagram with a neat sketch explain the working principle of a vapor absorption refrigeration system or sometimes they may ask you vapor compression refrigeration system and we have here write down the de desirable properties of refrigerants this may be the six marks question explain the following process by showing them on the psychometric chart that is sensible cooling humidification heating and humidifying cooling and dehumidification adiabatic mixing of two streams of air so this is all about module 4 now if I talk about module 5 there are only three theoretical questions which uh, video may ask 10 10 marks question there an expression for minimum work input by two stage compressor with intercooler between the two stages there have an expression for critical pressure ratio uh, which gives maximum discharge through the nozzle and what are the types of nozzles explain with neat sketch okay so numericals as I earlier told you if you are convenient with the numerical part if you are knowing how to use the Molière chart and how to use the data handbook you can easily solve the problem and uh, whatever you have studied in your college at your college level so make use of that and try to solve numericals also in the examination if by chance if uh, in the examination there comes uh, 40 marks theoretical and 60 numerical in that case you should write down all the theoretical portions if you are not knowing anything try to write down in your own words okay theoretical i am 
talking about and if numericals are concerned so you should at least try to write down the given data and also the equations from the data handbook so that you can just pass the applied thermodynamic subject sometimes it becomes ha hectic for the students to pass it okay so if it is uh, 60 40 is usually applied thermo thermodynamics paper that is 60 is theoretical portion and uh, 40 is the numerical part so i hope uh, this time they will ask you 60 40 means 60 uh, theory and 40 numerical part so that you can easily concur the applied thermodynamics with the flying colors i wish you all the best for your examinations make sure you will share this video to all your batchmates who are struggling with the applied thermodynamics subject so that they can also pass the uh, particular subject okay so thanks for watching my video Thank you.